One of the most important traits that any up-and-coming professional wrestler should look to achieve in the business is his ability to A. Have charisma, B. Cut a good promo, C. Work rate, and D. The art of selling. The incredible amount of time the young men and women who come out of the woodwork from professional wrestling schools that transition to those very few who actually make it that have that X factor. Many of today's modern stars who have perfected the craft of selling and storytelling take their cue from the one and only, the trailblazer, the godfather, if you will, of the art of selling. The man is iron, Mike Sharp. It could have gone down in American folklore as one of the greatest athletes to ever compete. The thing is, Mike Sharp was from Canada. Trained by Dewey Robertson at the age of 25 in 1973, Iron Mike Sharp debuted for Gene Kaniski's NWA All-Star Wrestling. He also became a two-time NWA Canadian Tag Team Champion with partners Moose Mora Whiskey and Salvatore Baloma. Taking a cue from his mentor Gene Kaniski, upon entering the WWF in 1983, Iron Mike Sharp built himself as Canada's greatest athlete. Initially, upon entering the World Wrestling Federation, Iron Mike Sharp was managed by the captain Lou Albano, and it went down against Bob Backlund for the WWF title in 1983 and in what is billed as one of the greatest world heavyweight title matches in the history of the sport. One of the more lesser known facts about Mike Sharp, and literally I found no footage on this, Mike Sharp teamed with Hulk Hogan during Hulk Hogan's initial surge into popularity in 1984 in New Japan Pro Wrestling. If anyone has seen pictures or matches from this, please let me know in the comments below. Up and down year after year, Iron Mike Sharp set the standard, raised the bar until 1995 when he finally parted ways with the World Wrestling Federation, ending the end of an era, ending the Iron Man legacy, the stamp, the blueprint set. After a couple of years working for Outlaw Promotions, it seemed the sun had finally set on this great legend. And then, when no one expected it, from over the horizon, out of the blue, the iron glistened in the sun once again as the gauntlet was held high, and Iron Mike Sharp returned for another run, his greatest run to glory. The path was paved on the Grand Masters of Wrestling. Iron Mike Sharp is many things, but a jobber is not one of them. Iron Mike Sharp did a lot for professional wrestling, changed the business. I'll tell you something. I love to wrestle, I love to fight, and I love to win, and I'm a winner. Take, a, take a breath. Let me ask you, what's this you have on your That's forearm? Right. Look at that arm there. Look at that, huh? You know how I built that arm? You know how I built? I didn't build that in, in the gym with pumping little dumbbells and taking mixing, steroids. Mixing I cement, was out right? in the woods. I was swinging. I was swinging an axe. If you've never heard of Iron Mike Sharp, it's a lying, lying shame. You need to do your homework. Strap on the gauntlet. This time, thank you once again for honoring Iron Mike Sharp.